Lady Hawk here. Uh, today is day nine. As you can see, I'm not on the trowel. I'm taking what they call a Nero day. And what you do on a Nero day is you get your laundry done, you take care of your hygiene. Uh, if you need your resupply, you do that. Um, so it's it's not really a day off, but it is. Last night, I didn't get a lot of sleep again. And so this morning, when I was getting ready to leave Hogpin Gap, I decided that I was going to call a shuttle, book me a, a cabin for the day. And here it's Misty Mountain Inn, and they're wonderful. They come and pick you up for free. It's all a part of your stay. They do your laundry for you and I'm telling you my laundry smells amazing when I find out what kind of detergent is going to be my brand new favorite detergent it, it, it they just they they're it's just unreal how good they smell uh, took care of hygiene you know took a couple showers already uh, ordered a pizza with everything uh, I am here alone I like it yesterday uh, the couple I'd been hiking with, I had told them that I felt like they were much, you know, they were stronger hikers than I was, and I felt like I was slowing them down. And I told Gio, I said, you know, I, I think it's, you know, maybe a good idea you guys just go on ahead. And he didn't want to do that. He said, look, he says, I don't want to break the group up. I enjoy your company. Um, he and his girlfriend are wonderful people. And so I went ahead and hiked with him yesterday. And what happened was, that I didn't know that she'd planned a 10 mile day. Um, I cannot do 10 miles. I cannot do nine. I cannot do eight. And it, you know, it was too hard. It was extremely hard to the point that I was just totally exhausted. And, you know, that's all I could do is set up, set up camp. And we had a self camp last night. And it was windy, but not as bad as it had been at Neil Gap. Um, so, I, you know, I did text him. I went ahead and left. I always leave early anyway. I leave, try to leave ahead of them uh, because they'll catch me and pass me up down the road. But um, I did text them and tell them, you know, what my decision was. And I think it's best for both of us. I just wasn't, there were so many beautiful views that I didn't get to enjoy yesterday. Because I was trying to catch up with them. Um, but, you know, they're stronger hikers. They don't need to be pulled back by me either. So, today, that is what I'm doing. I'm waiting for my pizza right now. Uh, got my sandals on. Got clean, fresh clothes. It feels so good. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll sleep in a warm bed. And maybe this these allergies will go away uh, still trying to hang on but I'm feeling good I, I overall I'm really feeling good so I will text you tomorrow the shuttle driver is going to take me back to um, I think it's Hogpin Gap drop me off uh, and then I'm going to continue on my way so I will talk to all of you real soon thanks this is what the Misty Mountain Inn looks on site inside the cabin. It's got a little kitchen. It's got a microwave, refrigerator, stove. Um, thought about biscuits, uh, eggs and biscuits this morning, but I didn't want to have to waste all that. And inside they've got a fireplace. And then you come on around. And I love this rocker. Look at that rocker. And then a bed that just makes you feel like a princess. All my clothes scattered out of cloth, of course, but the bed is just, it's so pretty. And then on around in a small, small love seat. So just really nice and cozy and real pretty rug. But I don't know what it is about that rocker, but I really, I like it. So, and then the bathroom, and it's a little messy at the moment. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, but, you know, just real small. It's quaint. They, and I didn't show you up there. There was a bunch, you know, there's like real shampoo and real soap. And then you come around and, you know, here's the shower curtains. 
and the colors are pastels and they're real pretty and dragonflies and butterflies so I think it was a good decision to take this day uh, a day to myself and so again there's that prince's bed man I love it I love it so there again I will talk to you guys soon I go back on the trail tomorrow we're gonna make it a full week I know uh, towards the the Middle of the week, I think it's supposed to rain again, so hopefully I'll be in, uh, somewhere where I can stay dry. All right, talk to you soon.